Hello everyone, Monica here uh, from Needle on Paper and today I want to bring you, um, this no, This won't be a tutorial but I just want to talk uh, to you about my experience with this um, project and this was a goal work uh, workshop that I took with Clara from Clara Stitching. Um, this is obviously the finished uh, process, the finished uh, uh, project. Um, it has a few techniques that I had never uh, worked before and, I, and it has some that I had done in the past. But it's always nice to brush up and it's always nice to find out ways on how we can use them in different ways. So here are the materials that we used and these came included in the package. This is called uh, heavy metal and we used it for most of the, or all of the couching really. This thread here, beautiful thread, beautiful shine, uh, it's called smooth passing. I had used it before and we did it, uh, we used it to outline the petals. Next one are these check pearls. We had two colors. Um, you can barely see here but it's a beautiful shimmery um, thread. Um, a little bit hard to work with at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, um, it's really nice. Um, this next one here, the one I'm holding, it's called Gold Madeira. It's called Metallic Fine Gold Madeira. I had never worked with it. It's sort of like a flat uh, thread. This is Twist. I had had it before and worked with it before, or a similar one, but I had known it as Grecian Cord. This might be a different one. This one is called Fine Passing. It was my least favorite to work with. I'm glad I used it. Um, it is, um, you can barely see here, but it, it's composing of two different sort of parts. Uh, it has like a cotton wrapped in metal. And this one is the Spooth Pearl. And I had worked with pearls several times before. It also includes floss, cotton floss for the leaves. And also Clara includes all the needles that you're going to need. Now this is what's not included. You're going to need a good pair of embroidery uh, scissors. Um, having a melor or an stiletto uh, comes in very handy. I started with the stiletto and then I switched to the melor. Um, I also like to use my B watts to make the floss or the thread a little bit more smoother smooth on the fabric and a needle minder. You're also going to need this pad which is sort of like an anti-slippery surface. It's usually velvet or felt or something like that to prevent the beads going somewhere else. So this is all you're gonna need and most of it comes included in your kit for this workshop. I now invite you to watch my next video which includes short clips of the embroidery process. Thank you.